Hey you guys, I want to give you a quick tutorial on how to crack web encryption using Backtrack 5 version R3, which for those of you who didn't know is an open source Linux based operating system used primarily for security analysis. Now for this tutorial I've installed Backtrack on a virtual machine that I created with VMware Fusion, but if you don't have VMware you can download the Backtrack disk image and create a live CD or bootable USB thumb drive instead, and I'll include a download link in the description for you. So, the first thing we want to do is open a blank notepad or sticky note so we can make some notes. And after you've done that, go ahead and open a new terminal and type the following command, airmon tac ng. And what that does is it displays a list of wireless network adapters. And you're going to want to make note of your device's name. In my case, it's WLAN0, and that's right here. So right here under device name, you can make a note WLAN 0, and I'll move that down in a minute. So the next thing you want to type is airmontac ng stop, and then the name of your device. And what that does is it disables monitor mode, putting it into a state, allowing us to create a fake MAC address and assign that fake MAC address to our wireless network adapter. So now that we've disabled monitor mode, we want to type ifconfig. W, or, I'm sorry, your device name down, then type Mac Changer TAC TAC Mac, and then assign any MAC address you want. I suggest following the template that I'm using here, it's kind of the standard, and then your device name. And you're going to want to make note of the fake MAC address that you're going to use also. So go ahead and do that, just in case you forget. Simple enough to remember, but better safe than sorry. Next thing, back in the terminal, you're going to type airmon tech ng start and then your device name and what that does is it puts our device back into monitor mode. Now you may get a couple of these PIDs. It shouldn't be anything you need to worry about. You can go ahead and ignore them and if you find that they are causing some sort of a conflict you can do a little research online. Just Google the PID and find out what it is and how you can terminate it. So now we're prompted to enter a new command. So what we want to do is type arrow dump tac ng tac c. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Arrow dump tac ng and then your device name. What that does is it scans available access points, which for those of you who aren't familiar with the terminology, an access point is a wireless network. So you can see here a nice list of wireless networks access points are popping up and once you see the wireless network that you want to perform this attack on you're going to press control C to terminate the scan. You can see here now we're prompted to enter a new command. What you want to type now, well first actually we're going to make note of a couple things. Identify which access point you want to perform this attack on and make note of the following items. So this is actually the access point that I'm going to use for this demonstration, 2-wire-119. First thing you want to do is make note of the ESSID, which is simply the name of the access point. So you want to write that down. Next, you want to make note of this BSSID, and a simple practice is to just copy and paste, and we're going to be pasting it into the terminal quite a bit, so make sure you make note of these things and then also the channel number. Now once you've done that, back in your terminal here, you're going to type arrow, lowercase, I'm sorry, arrow dump, tac ng, tac c, and then that channel number, tac w, then you're going to specify a file name. It could be anything you want. For this tutorial, I'm going to use webpack, and you'll want to make a note of the file name because we will be referencing it again in the last step of this process. So webpack and it's actually going to be used like this 01.cap so we'll just write out that for now but just type it in the terminal the way I am and I suggest using the same file name for the sake of simplicity here. Then you're going to type tac tac bssid then you're going to enter that bssid just copy it, paste it into your terminal 
then your device name again. Press enter. Now, what that did is it begins capturing packets and collecting web IVs, which are initialization vectors, to use with the air crack process, which will be the final step of this tutorial. And essentially, that command just created a file that we titled webpack. And now what it's doing is it's writing the packet and IV data to that file. And aircrack is going to access that file in the final process here. So the next thing we want to do is open a new terminal. And we're going to type air e play tac ng tac 1 0 tac a. Then we're going to paste that BSS ID into the terminal again. Tac h and then our fake MAC address and our device name. Press enter. And what we're doing there is we're trying to associate the fake MAC address with the access point to generate traffic so that we can perform a packet injection. So it says here, sending authentication requests and association is successful. That's what we want. So next we're going to type airy play tac ng tac 3 tac b and then that BSS ID again tac h our fake MAC address and then our device name press enter and what we're trying to do here is we're trying to inject packets and if you refer back to the first terminal you'll see the data level is relatively low now our goal is to increase that data level to about 10,000 so that way we can perform the air crack process which will decrypt the web key so you can see here the data level is not increasing as rapidly as we like it could take a long time at this rate so here we go you see now the data level is increasing that's exactly what we wanted to happen we are now injecting packets generating traffic and you see here also in your first terminal there's our fake MAC address right there and it is successfully associated with the access point which we want to perform the attack on so don't close either of those terminals now what we want to do is open a third terminal and this is where we're going to perform our air crack process which this is the final step of this tutorial so type air crack tac ng tac b and then you're going to enter that bss id again paste that into your terminal and then we're going to refer back to that file we created. So what you type now is the file name, which in our case is webpack tac 01cap For those of you who don't know, it writes that file. Let's see. Right here. You can see here I'm in my root folder. There it is. So it's storing all of that data to those files. And now we're going to press enter in our third terminal here to perform air crack and see what happens. You can see here it's going through the process of trying to decrypt the web key. And we've reached well over 10,000 packets. So this should, this should work right now, but if it doesn't, we'll perform aircraft again, and we'll continue to do that until it does decrypt the web key. You see here how many keys it's tested, how many IVs, that uh, we've actually captured. Here it is. The web key has been decrypted successfully and this is the web key right here and what you would do is you would try to access that that network and when it asks for the security key you would type this in minus the colons. So that's all there is to it.